Hi everyone, welcome to 9Tech11. iOS 16.1 is probably the iOS 16 version that we should have received a month ago as iOS 16.0. I have been using iOS 16.1 betas for more than a month now, both on my iPhone 14 Pro Max and my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I have to admit that my experience is much better compared to iOS 16.0 with almost zero bugs on both devices. Fortunately, battery life has been improved as well. Battery life hasn't been drastically better on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it's still lasting longer compared to previous iOS 16 versions, making it through the day, even with heavy usage and the always-on display activated, is feasible on my iPhone 14 Pro Max as well. Unless you want to watch videos through cellular networks for several hours, edit videos on the fly with LumaFusion or crash the brand new NBA 2K23 on your device. What's most important though is the addition of new features that come with iOS 16.1. Let's go check them out. Wallpapers optimization. Apple is now making it easier for us to change the wallpaper of our home screen directly from the lock screen. More specifically, when tapping on the customize option on our lock screen, we can choose whether we want to customize our lock screen wallpapers or home screen wallpapers directly. This is quite convenient since you had to customize your lock screen before being able to adjust your home screen wallpaper settings on iOS 16.0. Apple has also added another convenience related to wallpapers. iOS 16.1 allows us to switch to another set of wallpapers directly from settings. It's also now easier to see how you can add a new wallpaper from settings than it was before. Still, Apple doesn't allow us to rearrange our wallpaper order similar to how we can rearrange our watch faces order on the Apple Watch. This is something probably reserved for a future iOS update. Battery indicator. Apple is finally enabling the battery percentage indicator in the status bar of the iPhone XR, the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 13 mini. This means that all iPhones with Face ID are now supporting this long requested feature. On top of that, Apple is improving the visual representation of this feature. The battery icon is no longer shown constantly full, but it becomes empty while your battery drains through the day. On the contrary, the icon becomes fuller while you charge your iPhone. Simple as that. Now let's move on to live activities for third-party applications. This has been one of the most anticipated features of iOS 16. It was a major highlight during WWDC 22, but Apple decided that it wouldn't be a launch feature. Of course, because it wasn't ready. We have been able to access some beta versions of applications that gave us a taste of live activities from third-party developers. From today you will also be able to experience this as well. This is really impressive on the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, as the live activity is also hosted on the dynamic island apart from your lock screen. Let's say for example that you want to get informed about a live match from your favorite team. You can simply follow a match on FOTMOB or enable a live activity for a certain game or scar spot. The dynamic island shows the current score of the match and if you have to touch on it, you can get more details directly on dynamic island without leaving your app. This live activity is shown on your lock screen with more details of course. If you own an iPhone 14 Pro or an iPhone 14 Pro Max, you get the benefit to view live activities on the always on display as well. It is quite convenient since you have all the details and information right there without even having to touch your iPhone. We have also noticed that some applications such as games require downloading additional content after they have been installed on our device. This means that we cannot run this application before this additional content has been downloaded on our iPhones. Apple adds another useful option and allows us to download this content in the background without keeping the app open, right after it has been installed from the App Store. This feature is automatically enabled, but you can toggle it off in settings. Apple finally allows you to delete the wallet application on iOS 16.1, which is a really good option if you do not use Apple's wallet application at all. Apple has also proceeded to tweaking the user interface that we view when we take a screenshot on our iPhone. The menu now appears on the top left of the screen and not the bottom as it used to be until iOS 16.0. The menu now gives us the option to save the screenshot to photos, save to files or quick notes, copy and delete or directly delete the screenshot. It is more minimalistic and not as intrusive as it was before. This is really nice. Another highlight feature of iOS 16 is shared photo libraries. 
Apple introduced this back in WWDC 22. However, the feature was far from ready during the first iOS 16 beta version, so Apple holds this new feature back. iOS 16.1 is finally bringing this to all iOS 16 compatible devices. You now have the option to create and share a photo library with your contacts of choice. Sharing photos can go from fully manual to fully automatic. Beware of this automation though if you want to avoid any unpleasant surprises. When visiting your photos app, you can choose to view either your personal library or share library or even both. Of course, you also have the option to turn this feature entirely off. On books, reader controls are automatically hidden when you start reading a book. Apple has also enabled support for Matter accessories. Matter is a relatively new home connectivity standard, and it enables several smart home accessories to work together across different ecosystems, as Apple mentions. Apple has also enabled Clean Energy feature in the United States. This makes your iPhone charge when lower carbon electricity is available. This is a new feature and you need to have some settings enabled in order for this to work. Now when it comes to Apple Fitness Plus we have some good news to share. Apple Fitness Plus is now available for all iPhone users who do not use an Apple Watch. In a wallet, key sharing is now live and it allows you to share your car, hotel room or other keys with others through messaging apps such as Messages, WhatsApp or Messenger. Savings account is also enabled for Apple Card customers in the United States again. That's it from 9Tech11 for now. I really hope that this video will help you meet most of the new iOS 16.1 features. Hitting the subscribe and like button if you enjoyed this video would really make a ton of a difference for us. See you soon everyone, stay safe!